basically codify what are the best practices. The people's businesses are really going well. What are they doing? The people having the most challenges, what are they doing? And then sharing with them tools for turnaround and tools to take the businesses to the next level. So I've got a full schedule, but I wanted to send this little message out to you and just say, look, don't settle for falling into the trap of accepting the environment as the definition of how you're going to live your life this year. If you don't take the time to stop the world for a few minutes and just not just make a New Year's resolution, most of those have always been broken by most people. I mean, you know, less than half the population even sets a resolution, and it's not even a resolution. When you resolve something, you know, that's when you make a decision. That's when you cut off any possibility of going back the old way. Most people express some desire they have. They have no plan. They have no action. They have no follow through. They don't have enough reasons to make themselves, you know, actually take action. And so less than 5% of the people that even make a resolution follow through on it. So I'm not talking about some weak resolution. I'm saying give yourself the gift. Take about 45 minutes to an hour, set it aside for yourself, and actually sit down and take yourself to the process that I've done for years where you kind of figure out where have I really been? You know, what can I extract out of last year? What were the best moments, decisions, rewards? What can I learn from last year before you move on to this year? I mean, we're already here in January, but you still want to look back and be able to pull the best out of last year. Where am I right now? And being really honest with yourself. Where am I compared to where I want to be? Because anybody's honest has got, you know, a gap between where they are and where they want to be in some area of their life. Again, if you're doing great in your career, then maybe at home it's not quite as where you want it to be on the intimate side of your intimate relationship. Or maybe your work's doing really well, or your finances are going well, but you're not close to your kids, or vice versa. You're close to your kids, but your finances are a mess. Maybe your body's not where you want it to be. Whatever it is, instead of just letting things slide, get some momentum right now by deciding where was I, where am I, and where do I really want to go. And if you do it, I think you'll find that, that, you know, on the audio, I've got six real simple steps that can really help you get that momentum. And they fundamentally are, you got to get clear. You know, everything I teach is about getting people clear, getting focused, and making the changes that you want, making the outcomes you want an absolute must to achieve. And then secondly, we're going to walk you through getting that proven plan. You know, in other words, not reinventing the wheel, not applying a strategy that you know is not going to work, like some diet but actually taking and modeling the best of what succeeds. And then the third thing, you know, I, I was asked uh, on, um, uh, I'll leave the name out, but a national TV show, I was asked by a group of women who were on that show afterwards, they followed me and said, oh my God, you share with so many great tools for changing our life and we really want to make this change in our, our energy and our bodies this year. And I said, well, look guys, it's really simple. You know, get clear and focused on exactly what you want. Remember where focus goes, energy flows precise and you got to make it compelling so you're driven to follow through and I said secondly once you do that you got to get a proven plan don't do what you've done in the past let's get a plan that 